All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to EA Sports FC 24. I know it's been nearly a full month since I've uploaded one of these videos, but I'm back and I apologize. There was some stuff in the works, but it kind of got canned. Um, I actually recorded an EA uh, Sports FC video. I was in talks with an editor about editing that video for me, but it fell through. He was a little too busy to actually do it in the end. Um, so yeah, it didn't it didn't work out, but I'm back. And uh, yeah, I'm go the thing is, I'm planning on getting an editor specifically for EA Sports FC. FC or FIFA just to kind of test it out and see how we go and then maybe when the new game comes around I'll have an editor come in um, or that person that's been doing the test videos come in fully um, for some EA Sports FC videos because obviously Sanakagi is doing all the work with PGA and the Hound channel and everything um, so yeah he's already doing too much so I, I want to see what the story is and I kind of want to try out some different stuff anyway so thank you so much for the for the patience uh, I know there's been a lot of people in the comments wondering if EA Sports FC is dead. It's not dead. We're here. We're returning and we're back. So I'm going to show you guys some highlights of the results while I was away just now. Um, so you guys can keep up to, up to date. But basically, we had a couple of draws. I, I did four matches. Uh, I had one draw and then this happened. Yes! Evan, you beauty! You beauty! Evan Ferguson scores! And it's gonna be another draw, but you know what? Look at the manager. Bloody hell, mate. I'm running down there to celebrate with them as well. It's only an 88th minute equalizer, not a winner. So yeah, late equalizer there. Evan Ferguson with the goal. And then we had another draw. So three straight draws. And then this at the end of another match happened. Could we finally get a win? Let's find out. Well in possession now and looking to create Lisey. Calvert Lewin, yes! Finally! Finally! Dominic Calvert Lewin scores for Everton! We bloody deserve that! Get in there! Come on! So yes, we finally got the W against Manchester United. It's, we got the 1-0 win, and it was an absolutely beautiful finish there, Dominic Calvert-Lewin. And a lot has happened in the real world since I've last recorded as well. Everton have gone and lost 6-0 to Chelsea, and I thought it was the end of Sean Dyche. Um, I thought it was the end of Everton Football Club. I thought we were going down. And then we bounced back in the best way imaginable. We beat Forest 2-0, and then we beat Liverpool 2-0 in one of the best games I've seen us play in a very long time, at least in front of fans. We had some banger matches under Carlo uh, without fans there, especially that one against Liverpool, that win at Anfield. But this was the best win I can remember uh, with the fans in a very long time. Like, our performance against Liverpool was absolutely immense. The desire, everything was just simply sensational. And yeah, it's good. So we're here to hopefully get Everton into Europe in EA Sports FC. We're halfway through the season. If you're just joining for the very first time, we've played 17 games. We're on 27 points, just two points behind Liverpool and uh, four points behind Chelsea in sixth. So we need to get a move on if we want to have any chance of European football. That starts now against Burnley Football Club. Let's see if we can beat them. And uh, we have Chelsea right after that. So if we beat Burnley, um, the, the game against Chelsea could be absolutely massive. So they're approaching me about the England international job. Maybe we should have a look at that. I'll stall that one. After carefully reviewing potential candidates, we are pleased to offer you the position of head coach for the England international team. We have to reach the semi-final of the Men's International Cup and reach the final of the European uh, Championship. So let me know if that's something you'd like to see. We could take over as the England boss, and I think that that would be a really interesting one to play alongside it, even though I'm Irish. So, I mean, it, it wouldn't feel right being an Irish manager um, managing England, but just for the kind of content, it could be fun. But let's jump in and let's play the match against Burnley. So Gananto should be back from injury. Um, he only had a five-day injury here. He says he's feeling pretty fit. You know how important you are to us, Willie. And James Tarkovsky wants to start. So I'll think about that one, James. It would be nice to have you in there after your performance against Liverpool. He was an absolute colossus at the back. Um, to be honest, him and Brantwaite were both unbelievable. And Jordan Pickford as well had a phenomenal game. But my man of the match and the man of the match as well from Gary Neville was Dominic Calvert-Lewin. And it was fully deserved. He had a magnificent game. Just scored for us as well to give us the win against Man United. But that was an absolutely world-class performance from, from Calvert-Lewin there. It really was. What the hell's up with his eyebrows there? Is that Patterson? Why are his eyebrows albino or something? That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Uh, the third, we'll put the third kit on. I think that makes the most sense. So, uh, let's do this. Right, I'm going to go Pickford, Patterson, Tarkovsky, Branthwaite, Onana, McTominay, Sudakov, Calvert-Lewin, Olise, and uh, Gnanto. I don't know why the team is so unhappy. 
Like, we're not doing that bad. We're eighth in the league, for God's sake. Everton in real life would bite your hand off for eighth in the league in real life. I said in real life twice, but we're, we're here and we are ready. It's been a it's been a long time since one of these videos has been here. Um, there's my angel number just there, so that is a, a sign of things to come here. Calvert Lewin, we're here to save Everton Football Club from the brink. Okay, Everton have just been in a whole lot of turmoil in real life and. I'm here to turn that around and make Everton a force to be reckoned with in Europe and all around the world. Uh, we are going to be known as one of the best teams around. All right, that's it. That's what we're going to do. Come on, Everton. These are shit. These. So yeah, I am into. I, I just messaged an editor there. Um, I don't know if he's going to get back to me, but um, we'll see what happens. Uh, maybe if he doesn't. If there's anyone watching that knows of a EA Sports FC editor, now, uh, like, these aren't going to be videos that, like, change the world or anything. They're not going to be, like, big projects where I'm going to be paying you a bloody $500 per video and stuff like that. But it's like, because um, I don't have that kind of money, first off. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's going to be just like my career mode now, except I want it to be a little bit more professional, a little bit more in the way of edits and kind of professionalism there, just to kind of get the, the videos a little bit better, especially now with EAFC 25 coming up this year. I want to... I want to make a dent in the in the EAFC scene because I really do enjoy doing these career modes for you guys, and uh, I would like to branch out and do some more EAFC stuff um, to add it to the rotation along with the golf and now the tennis as well. I just think it would be fun to have a little bit more uh, variety there um, because I usually just do these, this career mode and edit it myself and kind of just we go from there. And I do enjoy editing these videos. I don't think I do a bad job or anything, but uh, I'd like to just have a little bit more professionalism. Maybe people would want to watch more. Uh, of it then as well. So, let's do this thing. Scott McTominay to Onana. Let's see if we can take an early lead here against Burnley. Burnley look like they're on the way down in real life. Um, but you never know. They're not down yet. Great ball. Here's Michael Alise. He's been ripping it up for Palace under their new manager, Oliver Glasner. But he's going to rip it up for me here as well. Great tackle from McTominay though. Can he beat his man? It looks like he can. I'm a poet and I don't know it. Here's Alise. Alise finds Onana. Onana goes for it. That's one of the most pathetic shots you'll ever see in your life. It's a little bit harsh. Right, I need to make sure all the settings are still the same as well. Just so you know, we are playing on world-class difficulty. And uh, we are playing with sliders and stuff to make it a little bit more difficult. Uh, time finishing is off, of course. But these are the sliders that I'm playing on. Just in case you're kind of new to the channel and you're watching for the very first time. Um, those are the sliders. Look at that from Gananto. Look at Willie G go, huh? Willie G finds Calvert-Lewin. Calvert-Lewin to Sudakov! It's wide! That's terrible, man! You have to be putting that on target. That's a Darwin Nunez miss there, if I've ever seen one. Oh no, you're joking. You are joking me! Typical EAFC bullcrap. Come on, Jordan. Pickford would never make a mistake like that. Not, not these days, anyway. Joke. First save is a good one. It's not. It's pathetic. It goes right to him. Unlucky, and there's really. no one else there. Bloody hell, mate. Great tackle by Tarkovsky. Brilliant. Have him, Nathan. Have him. Come on, lad. Yes. Yes, Nathaniel. Yes. Brilliant defending from Nathan Patterson. Hopefully he gets well soon as well. He's had a, a bad injury there until the end of the season. But we love you, Nathan. Hopefully you come back uh, come back better than ever. Can't wait to see you on the pitch again, lad. I do love Nathan Patterson. I really do. Oh, no. Good save. Keep that in. Jesus Christ, what are we doing here? I don't believe this. Nearly gifted him a goal there. Half time. 1-0 Burnley. Not ideal. And we've been having too much draws recently. So we can't, uh, we can't afford a draw. Second half, we need to go for it, all right? Let's go for it, baby. Around the 60-minute mark, if it's not 1-1, I'm going to go attacking 4-4-2. And 4-1-2-1-2, uh, two, two, maybe, something like that. Get two up top, get Ferguson on. And just uh, bully these guys up front, hopefully. Brilliant play. Sensational play there. Unfortunately, just couldn't get the shot away. Here's Michael Alise now. Does his man in. Calvert-Lewin goes for it. It's over the bar. It's, how do you get that much bloody height on the shot from there? I thought it was a deflection, but no, he just missed. Has options available. Oh, for God's sake, Pickford! How does that go over you? Like, how? 
Oh my god, 2 0 Burnley. What a disaster this is. Went through his arm. Oh my god, all right. Well, we need a serious comeback here now to avoid embarrassment against Burnley here. Brilliant! Brilliant! Come on, Evan! How have you not made it 2 1 there immediately? It would have been such a quick turnaround. Such a quick comeback goal. It would have been brilliant, in fact. Everton don't have the same potency in FIFA as they do in real life from the corner there, unfortunately. But Scott McTominay cuts inside. McTominay, go for it! It's wide! Oh, we're having so many chances. We just can't get it in the back of the net at the moment. Garner for Onana. Let's make that sub. Let's see about the delivery. Good Lord. Good Lord Almighty. That was close. Close. Look at Elise. Elise finds Calvert-Lewin. He could be open here. Dominic Calvert-Lewin, finish this. Yes, Dom! Yes! Come on, comeback season now. I don't want to see a celebration from you. Nothing. Get back to that touchline. Let's do this thing. Come on. Good save, Pickford. Good save. Would have been disastrous to, disastrous to concede there. Archie Gray for Scott McTominay. Sure, let's try Archie Gray. Ah! So frustrating, man. What a frustrating game this has been. We did not deserve to lose this game, I can tell you that much. We didn't deserve to lose it, and we have. We have lost it. 2-1 to Burnley. Maybe 3-1, but we are not going to get a chance to go up the other end. That's for damn sure. Uh, unless we can really get it up there quickly now. Get up! No, that's it. God damn it, man. What a frustrating game. Ah. Uh. I feel like we deserve more from that, but to lose there is really damaging to our European hopes, my friends. Really, really damaging. Calvert-Lewin's the man of the match, but uh, we tried our best to come back, but we just... Our finishing just wasn't there. I think we had much better chances than Burnley overall, but uh, we just couldn't just get the ball in the back of the net, unfortunately. And we're five points behind Chelsea and six now coming into this game, so this is basically a must-win game. If we go eight behind them, we're done. Don't blame yourself, James, all right? We gotta, we gotta keep the morale up here now if we want to win this. We gotta keep the morale up if we want to win this game against Chelsea. I'm scared. I'm scared about this game. But we gotta do it. We gotta beat them. Simple as that, really. All right, so here's their team. Sanchez, Arnau, De Sassi, Saar, Acuna, Caicedo and Enzo, Nkunku, Madweke, Mudrik, and Nicholas Jackson. I can't believe these guys beat us 6-0. Like, I just can't believe they beat us 6-0. But we're getting revenge here, all right? We're not going to let them beat us 6-0 here, that's for damn sure. We're not going to let them beat us at all. The Toffees here are out for revenge, and that is a fact. Wow, are all those kids similar? <laughs> How the hell do Chelsea get away with having those three kids? Tierney's a little bit tired, so I might start Godfrey at left back. There we are. Ready for this. A huge game in the battle for Europe. Let's see if we can get a result. It would be massive for the program. Absolutely massive. I wouldn't mind signing a few of these Chelsea youngsters either. I like uh, I like Mudrik. I like the look of Madweke uh, and Kunku. You know, like there is a lot of really raw talent at Chelsea that I think can turn into something special. And they show it in glimpses. They just aren't as uh, consistent as they need to be at the moment, you'd say. They're just after losing 5-0 to Arsenal, which is crazy. They won 6-0 and then lost 5 <laughs> Like, that's just mad. <laughs> Oh, uh, football's a funny old game. Well done, Onana. Brilliant. And a good roll from... Oh, great tackle there. Great tackle. But it was a good roll from uh, Cananto. And gets us out of trouble there nicely. Well done, Willie G. Look at that from Willie G. Go on, son. Willie G all the way. Oh, he can score here, Derek. No! How have you missed, lad? We need to be taking these chances. We need to be more clinical if we want to bloody do this thing, man. This is embarrassing to miss chances like that consistently at the moment. Look at that from Ganonto. It's special from Willy G. Sudakov, Evan Ferguson saved by Sanchez. Oh. Sudakov! Oh! How the hell does it not go in? Oh my god, what just happened? What just happened, man? Ah! Oh. So nearly. But no cigar, it's a corner again. We're all over Chelsea like a bad rash here. But we just can't put it in the back of the net, son. They haven't had a single attack, I'd say. 
Until here. Until now. Pickford saves, thank God. I would have been truly and utterly devastated if Chelsea had taken the lead there. Because they didn't deserve Jack. We, we aren't getting what we deserve right now, guys. Our finishing is not nearly good enough. Come on. Second half, here we go. I might bring on McTominay for Garner as well to avoid any sort of red card situation for him. No, make the pass earlier! For God's sake! He was in such a good position and he just couldn't make the pass. It was like, I think his touch let him down or something. Oh no, that's the penalty. I don't believe it. I just don't believe this game, man. I flat out don't believe it. Oh my God. It's going to be 1-0 Chelsea now because of this bull crap. I mean, he barely touches him. For the love of all that's good and holy, man. Enzo scores. 1-0 Chelsea. It's an absolute piss take. It's an absolute piss take if we lose both these games, to be honest. An absolute joke. I can't believe it, to be honest. I really can't believe it. No! Oh, score that! No! How did he get a fist to the second one? No way, man! I don't believe it! How in God's name did he get a fist to the second one? Ferguson, right at him! Every time it's right at him! From Ferguson, it seems like. Swear to God, he's trying uh, trying not to score today as a bloody bet on a Chelsea clean sheet. Of course, he's right through. Bloody all the way to Raheem Sterling and he's all the way in. Just fuck off, game. Honestly, this game is a piss take sometimes. It really is. It's an absolute joke sometimes. 2-0 Chelsea, somehow. Some way, this is 2-0 Chelsea. I've dominated the entire fucking game. I'm gonna cry. Referee! What are we doing? That's a disgraceful challenge from Caicedo. Honestly, that's a red. Yes! We get one back instantly, but it might not be enough. It's 2-1 again. Are we going to lose back-to-back 2-1 -back vic- uh, 2-1 matches? Come on, no. We can't. Let's do this thing. Let's pour men forward and get bodies in the box and go for this. I don't believe it. That's the one big chance. That's the one big chance and he's blazed it over the bar. Look at this. That is a bloody open goal apart from the keeper. So obviously it's not an open goal, but I mean, there's no defenders in sight. You had all the time in the world. What in the hell was that, Dom? You'd be packing your bags tonight if the transfer window is open now. It's pathetic, that is. I can't believe that. I really, like, that's game over now. I just can't believe this, man. One more chance. Like, what is this game about sometimes? I'm trying to get the ball forward and it's bouncing off seven different pl seven different players here. Oh, I'm done. 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 Two one, two one losses, man. This is crazy. Honestly, crazy. Game over. Great. Well done. Back to back losses. And my return is an absolutely somber one. We couldn't get on the end of the chances we made, and that's a fact. You have to learn from setbacks, my friends. All right, the, the morale's Thank going up so at least, but that is two losses in a row. The transfer window's open. Holy crap. Okay, we need to make some we need to make some signings, boys. <laughs> Let's keep working hard for now, Sudakov. I really think that if I don't start getting a regular game, I'm going to need to... You're still in contention, James. Jesus Lord. You're the captain, lad. Come on, what are we doing here? Brighton are up next. Calvert-Lewin transfer offer made for 40 million. Quite a lot. I'm going to say no, though. James Tarkovsky and... Oh, shit. Is he out of contract? I'm guessing that's the end of the season, then. I'm guessing I can't give him a contract now. It's too late. So, like, what really, realistically, we don't really need to sign any positions, I guess. I mean, maybe a left winger over Gananto. But Gananto's, like, improving. He's young. Yeah, another winger probably would be the best play position that we need, but... Jack Clark is a left mi mid slash left wing back. Hmm. Kaminsky, left winger we've been looking at. Garnacho. I don't know that we'd have the... What's our budget like right now? Well, we might have the budget for him. Garnacho could be an interesting one. Just because we'd have serious backup there now. Let's see. He's at Leeds as well, not Man United anymore. So it would be a step up for him. 50 mil, see what he has to say. 55. 55 million? 
Okay, that's my favorite number too, 55. Interesting. This is interesting now. Garnacho could be a huge signing for the football club. Especially with the losses coming here now. He would be important. Quad roll crucial. I can't even... Oh no, we just have to accept crucial. I see, yes. Alright, his current wage is 53,000. So I'm going to go give him a little bit of a pay raise here. To 55,000. But it's all going to be in the bonuses here. So we'll give him a 500,000 signing bonus. And then uh, we'll add a goal scoring bonus as well. No, no, no. Goal scoring bonus. If he gets 10 goals, he gets another 500,000. So that'll bring it to a million. How about that? All right, he's happy with that. Garnacho has signed for Everton Football Club, my friends. Alejandro Garnacho. Alejandro Garnacho is an Everton player. This is mad. This is absolutely mad. Saving Everton Football Club by signing Garnacho. Our team's looking good now, I think. Like, that's four wingers, four quality wingers we have. Four quality pacey wingers that we have as well. Tricky pacey wingers, so it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. Garnacho with the he's obviously not gonna be number thirteen, but he looks good. He looks good in blue, baby. He's a Man United player in real life, of course, so he's a, he's used to his red, but he looks good in blue. Garnacho has signed for Everton Football Club for fifty-five million pounds. Fifteen seven. I'm gonna go seventeen. Timmy Cal style. All right, Alejandro Garnacho. Right, really. I've said two must-win games in a row, but this really is must-win now, right? <laughs> like, let's just get the double. We need a win to, f to finish off here. Come on. No bullcrap. I'm not finishing until I get a win. We'll be here all day now. <laughs> That's what happens when you get a little rusty, you know? We got a little rusty because we, uh, we were out dicking about and doing our own thing. Calvert-Lewin's tired, man. A lot of our players are tired here, unfortunately. Uh, I'll put Granto on the right. And Garnacho on the left for today, just because... Duranville and Alicia are both a little bit tired. Um, I'm going to put McTominay in the advanced role today. And we're going to put Garner um, alongside Onana. And I'm going to put Tarkovsky in there alongside Branthwaite. Or alongside Elvedi as well. And I'm actually going to put Godfrey at right back. Because Patterson just needs a little rest. Um, so we're going to go with this team here. Pickford, Godfrey, Elvedi, Tarkovsky, uh, Tierney, Onana, Garner, McTominay, Ganonto, Calvert-Lewin and Garnacho. So we might swap Evan Ferguson for... Um, actually, I might put Dobbin on the bench because he's really a, our only other option from as like a striker. So we'll leave Patterson at home there. We'll leave him get a full rest in. All right, far. let's do this I thing, my guys. We really need a W here, really badly. Garnacho's first touch for Everton here. Let's see if we can make something happen. Go on, Alejandro. Go on. Look at him. Garnacho! Oh my God! What a first introduction to Everton. He scored within two minutes. Garnacho is here to save the Toffees. We need saving, and Garnacho is our messiah. Come on, baby. What a goal. What a goal. Absolutely sensational stuff. Brilliant, really. Look at that. It just dinks it over the keeper almost. Oh, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant from Garnacho. We needed that. We needed it, and we've got it. Now we need to hold on because we need a. We need to win more than anything, to be honest. We need to win more than anything. And what I need as well is to get a thumbnail uh, with uh, with Alejandro in it. Oosh. Good block. Don't let them score right away, please. Good block. Whoever that was was Tarkovsky. Well done, Tark. McTominay. Alongside Garnacho, actually. Teammates here at Everton now. Dominic Calvert-Lewin could be in here. Potentially, he just doesn't have the pace, does he? Oh! Couldn't quite get there. Michael Enko and McNeil both playing against Everton here as well, I just realised. So that's interesting. Both against their former club. That's a foul. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I was going to say, what the hell? I was like, surely that's not against me. Brilliant ball from Tierney. Calvert-Lewin wins the corner for Everton. We haven't been able to make do with these corners, but maybe Garnacho on the corner now can help us out. Brilliant ball. Calvert-Lewin, what? No dumb. That's your bread and butter there, Dominic. Garnacho just running rings around him here. Finds McTominay. McTominay finds Calvert-Lewin. No, he doesn't. It just gets blocked out. Oh, huge opportunity there. Huge opportunity missed. From Everton to get two. If we go 2-0 up, it would be massive for the program. Dom lets it slip through him, but... Uh, pause. Okay. Well done, Garner. Yes, lad. Make a run, Garnacho. 
Make a run, lads. Oh, I just couldn't get to him. Oh. McTominay let it run away from him just a little bit. Tierney. What a tackle by Kieran Tierney, though. And here's Garnacho now. Garnacho has made just a huge difference to the attack. And he finds Willie G. Willie G's why? Come on, lads. We have to finish this game off while we're on top here. If we let this slip now, it's pathetic. Garnacho is just levels above everyone on the pitch right now. And there's been a change to the scoreline in the City game. Alex Scott has the news. Yep, it's a goal for Fulham. Garner's been brilliant as well, though, I must say. Garner's been brilliant as well. And Ganonto here. He has time and space, Willie G. Cuts inside. Ganonto fires it at the keeper, but it's kept in by Michael Enko. No, it's not, actually. I don't believe it. I knew it was going to happen. Brighton's first attack of the game. I knew it would happen. Literally their first attack of the game and that bloody McNeil scores against us. I love you Dwight, but I don't love you right now. For God's sake. What are we doing, man? I just knew it was going to happen. Like we were dominating completely just like the last two games. And somehow whenever we're dominating and I can't put the game, I can't score. I just know that they're going to score on their very next attack. And that's exactly what happens. It took them 40 minutes to get an attack on goal. And they bloody score from it. Because of course they do. Make a run then, Garnacho, you lazy little lout. Just because you scored doesn't mean you get to laze off here, all right? McTominay now finds Garnacho. That's better. Garnacho, Calvert Lewin, how are you so? I don't understand how you're that bad, Dom. I really don't. Like, what in the world is that? How have you not scored there? You better score here to make up for it. You suck, Dom. How? How do you suck this badly, sir? I'd love to know. Calvert Lewin! Oh my God! Please. Oh, I've seen porn stars who suck less than this, Dom. Ah, oh, lads, this is real. Like, what is this game about? They're tripping over each other. What is this game about? If that had gone in, I would have logged off the bloody game. I'll tell you that much right now for free. Like, what are we doing here? Godfrey trips over the defender, and then Ganonto trips over Godfrey. That's why you're coming off. Good Lord Almighty, Willie. Yes, brilliant. Amadou Onana, Garnacho, 2-1. He's the only one on the pitch with half an ounce of talent. Garnacho scores and he makes it 2-1 to the Toffees. Get in there, boys. Get in. A Garnacho masterclass here to save Everton from the brink. And by the brink, I mean eighth position. We're way worse off in real life right now. <laughs> oh, lads, yes. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant goal. And we needed it so. The manager goes wild. And Goodison erupts. Yes, Godfrey, lad. Let's get it. Let's get two goals up now, all right? That's all I want is to get two goals up in a game so I can have some, just some level of security. Don't let this happen, please. Thank you. Well done, Tierney. That was really coolly done from Kieran Tierney. Garnacho is having the debut of a lifetime here. The debut of a lifetime is Garnacho, And if he could get a hat-trick on his debut, that would make it really, really special. Garnacho, Garnacho! Oh, what a save! It would have been unbelievable. Well done, Tierney. Unbelievable. Tierney finds Garnacho, And this could be it. This could be the moment for his hat-trick. There's lots of defenders is the only thing. Garnacho, Calvert-Lewin! He's trash, and I said he's coming off if he misses one more chance. And that's exactly what he's done. Calvert-Lewin's wrecked anyway. I'm going to bring on Lewis Dobbin. Dobbin wins it early on here. Let's see if he can get a chance. Elise. Brilliant. Brilliant. McTominay seals it. McTominay seals it for Everton. Yes. Come on. Surely that seals the deal. Scott McTominay. It was brilliant from Dobbin as well, really. He's just on the pitch and he's got the assist. Everton have done it here. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, come on, get in there, brilliant from Godfrey, brilliant from Dobbin, and Scott McTominay does the rest, Everton lead 3-1 that good as Park, and now we can go a little bit defensive maybe, uh, once the ball goes out of play I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some substitutions, some defensive substitutions here. Oh my god, very nearly an unbelievably good goal there, but uh, not quite, Garnacho's gonna come off. 
and Archie Gray will come on. Under pressure and have well done, Garnacho. What a debut. Well, a debut to remember. He's going to get the man of the match. There's no doubt about that. He had an insane game. Oh my god. Are you joking me here? You have to be having a laugh. Well done, Elvedi. Onana wins it back. This could be 4-0. 4-1. Dobbin, yes! Come on! Lewis Dobbin seals it off. Brilliant stuff from him. Calvert-Lewin was an embarrassment, but Dobbin comes on, and he's been absolutely brilliant. Maybe I'll have to start him in the next game, even though he's only 67 rated. Well done, Lewis. And I don't know what's happened this game, but we have just turned it on. We have turned it on, and we've got the finishing down. We've scored four goals. I mean, good lord. We couldn't bloody it's score a in a brothel lead, there and it's very hard um, to them in the last couple of games. But, well, we did score two goals, but, you know, it was too late. It was too late when we scored those two goals. We've already doubled our tally from the last two matches in this match. And it's been a quality performance. Webster in possession. We needed so it as well. I was, if we hadn't even lead. got... If we hadn't got a win this video, I would have been upset. Dobbin! And finds Duranville. Is he onside? He's not. I would have loved for Duranville to make it 5-1. And then it would have been very similar to Everton's 5-1 win against Brighton in real life this season. Is that this season or last season? I feel like it, I feel like it was this season, but it could have been last season. I'm not sure. All right, there you go, boys. Absolutely beautifully done. Thank you so, so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, if this video is done by an editor as well, um, I'll let you guys know maybe in the, in the description or in the comments or something like that. So, yes, thank you guys so much for the support. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. It's been a pleasure to serve you all. We'll just go and have a look at the, at the stats before I leave you here. Um, we'll have a look at the... First off, the match facts. I, I mean, we definitely deserve to win 5.3 expected goals. I've never seen it that high um, in a while. But look at that. Garnacho 9.4. Dobbin, 9.2. Onana, 8.5. And McTominay, 8.5. I haven't seen ratings that high in a while either. It feels like we just flipped a switch in this game and all of our hard work came out in this one. So absolutely brilliant stuff. We'll do the little interview here as well time. before we check the overall stats as well, like goal scores and stuff. Uh, he capped a good team to, team display today, did Garnacho. It was absolutely brilliant. Uh, we, we, yeah, we've, we've beaten them twice and you have to take pride in your work a little bit, all right? Uh, very comfortable. I would, I would say it was uh, very comfortable, but... Uh, the lads up front were ruthless. We'll say that much. Garnacho's very happy about that, all right? Thanks for speaking um, to us. But there you go. He will not take any more questions. And we have Millwall next in the FA Cup. Interesting. So we'll be able to give a, a, young, a few of the youngsters some loans there as well. Yusuf Tremidi's loan has come to an end there. That's... Oh, okay. Maybe we can use Yusuf Tremidi. What rating is he? Um, I suppose took a chance talking to you, but it seems like you were ready to listen to what I had. I respect that, and things really seem to have improved for us lately. Hell yeah, Jordan. I'm glad you came and talked to me. Let's go. You'll get that chance, Nathan. You're going nowhere, lad. What are you talking about? I just dropped you for one game to rest you, pal. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't anything to do with you. But, uh, there goes James Tarkovsky. But to be honest, I, I think that's at the end of the season. I don't think that's now. Yeah, we need to think about signing another centre-back to replace him, unless we want Godfrey to be that centre-back, I guess. Uh, we'll see what happens. But Godfrey's kind of like good cover along the back line. He can play in any of those positions. So let's have a quick look at the uh, the assists, the goals, the stats overall. Um, this season, Dominic Calvert-Lewin is our top scorer with eight. So yeah, eight goals in 19 matches or so. It's not amazing. We haven't really scored too many goals. Sudakov scored seven. Doesn't really feel like he scored that money. Ferguson, five. McTominay, two. Garnacho two. Garnacho might become our top scorer in no time here. Um, but assist-wise, let's have a look. Uh, Calvert-Lewin, Ginanto, McTominay, Onana, Olise, Garn are all up near the top. So, okay. That's where we're going to end the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. We'll be back and continue on with the A Sports FC. I'll try and do a video a week from now on, maybe, or something like that. Um, I apologize for the delay in this one, of course. But we're back, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.